arguably one of the worst features of Star Citizen right now is its star map. And you know what? It's actually not its fault. This star map was designed way back in the days of Star Citizen Alpha 2.0, when basically it was just mostly about going in space and not really on planet side location. Exploration wasn't such a thing, and there would be there wouldn't be much need to go outside of your ship. So it just did its job for what the game was offering back then but obviously as we broadened our scope then quickly it became obsolete and quite useless at this stage well obviously the developers at cloud imperial games have heard our cries because they spent the past couple of years developing the new star map which was presented at this year's citizen con and oh boy this has the potential of being one of the best if not the best or at least most useful features of star citizen in squadron 42 as well so in this video i want to talk about the functionalities of this star map from the most basic to the most complicated because yes they can be very advanced which i think is a really good thing as it's going to really integrate as much of the game as possible into one single app that is brilliant thinking so as you would expect with the star map you can zoom in and out from your location all the way to seeing the entire game universe and there's a really cool little functionality here which is like a magnetic marker which is basically going to automatically zoom in to the nearest points of interest so if you're looking for a space for a particular area in space then you're not going to be getting lost on the star map in space it's going to go automatically toward the nearest moon or the the nearest planet. From there, you can also have a look at what's on the surface on the planet. So it's going to show you what is on your side. So if you want to see what's on the other side, instead of cluttering the entire moon or planet, you just have to rotate the planet. It's super easy. And then what's on your side, which is going to be on the other side, is going to disappear. And what was on the other side is going to now be on your side and is going to be up here. That's actually also quite brilliant thinking here. And all you have to do there to check out what's going on is just continue to zoom in and you'll be able to see the terrain the city or any points of interest that you would have pinpoint before or bought from other players because yes that's actually going to be a thing with this star map exploration will finally become a viable profession you will be able to go out there explore the verse find interesting points of interest that then you are going to be able to sell to other people who might be interested and they will be able to rate you as well which I think is going to be a good way to prevent, for example, traps or scams from other players. And that is just one example of the many new functionalities that this map is going to bring. It's going to have, for example, a button where you will automatically go back to your current position. You'll have a button where you'll stay back to the previous marker that you were observing. And it will also have a button to go back one degree of scale which is going to prevent you from endlessly zooming out if you say for example you want to zoom out from a city to a planet or from a planet to a star system you just have one button and boom you have the entire star system in front of your very eyes but as i said a little bit earlier what i really like is the fact that the star map is fully integrated into your ui as well and you can do a lot on the star map that's also going to be shown on your ui for example pathfinding which is absolutely wonderful you go to the star map you want to go to a select area you set it as your destination and it is going to show you a path considering a lot of different things are the paths open is there a fire are elevators working and you are going to see the path on the mini map on the top left so that you are never going to get lost trying to find your way around the verse that's absolutely brilliant but that's not all you will be also able to scan from the map as well so just like when you're on a ship you just ping the area and then it will reveal where there are other people are there friendlies or are there hostiles so no more surprises here you will know exactly what is going to come ahead of you as you make your progression 
Last but not least, you will also be able to download the maps of points of interest that you are going to visit. Here that makes sense, I don't think anyone would sell a map of Area 18 or a map of New Babbage because these are public spaces that anybody can go to, but maybe this might be the first time you will go there and you might not know your way around, so that's also going to be a very practical way to get a little more familiar with these landing zones, which can be overwhelming for new players for sure and so that is the new star map i can't wait to see it coming obviously it still needs a little bit of work the search function for example is not there yet so they still need to implement that but i'm pretty sure that once it is then we should be able to see it i think that this is going to be coming along with star citizen alpha 4.0 given how much of a major change it is with that comes the end of this video thank you so much for watching thank you so much to the people on patreon and on the youtube joint membership program who keep the lights running if you too want to help out well any help is much appreciated and the link is in the description down below shout out to dr fabian zero crusher and deploring bowling I have been Erad, I'll see you guys in the next one.